The simplest organic molecules are the hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are made only from hydrogen and carbon. We will start with naming straight chain alkanes, which are hydrocarbons that contain only single bonds. These are called saturated compounds because you cannot get any more hydrogens on. They are completely saturated. The first is methane. And if we add a CH2, we get ethane. And another, propane. And another, butane. You can try to remember the first four by the mnemonic, monkeys eat peanut butter. From then it's pentane, hexane, heptane, octane, nonane, and decane. You must remember the names of the first ten in the series. Following butane, you could relate the names to that of polygons. For example, heptane has seven carbons and a heptagon has seven sides. Chemical compounds are named according to IUPAC rules. Rather than go through the rules, it is probably best to apply the rules as we go and work through examples. We'll start with this molecule. The first thing we have to do is find the longest chain of carbon atoms. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here, or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 here. So the longest carbon chain is 6. This decides the stem part of the name. The names of organic molecules have a prefix, stem and suffix. As the longest carbon chain is 6, this will have the stem of hex. The stems for the different chain lengths are as follows. Next we can look at the branches off the main chain. We have a one carbon chain branch off the main chain. And this is called a methyl group and this forms the prefix. The names of the branches with the different numbers of carbons are as follows. We have to state whereabouts this methyl group is attached to the chain, so we number the chain. We must number the chain so that the branch has the lowest number possible. For example, we could number the chain this way and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or start from here and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This way gives the lowest number for the branch, and so we put a 3 in front of the methyl to state its position. You must separate the numbers from the letters with a hyphen. Finally, we can apply a suffix. Our compound is an alkane, and so has the suffix ane. Our compound is 3-methylhexane. Now let's try with this compound. Let's find the longest chain. The longest chain is 6, and so the stem part of the name is hex. Now let's look at the branches. We have a 1 carbon branch and a 2 carbon branch. These have the names of methyl and ethyl. Now let's number the chain to give the smallest numbers. We could number this way, which has our branches on positions 3 and 5, which gives a total of 8, or this way, which has the branches on positions 2 and 4 which gives a total of 6. We'll go with this, as this gives the lowest total. So we have 2 methyl and 4 ethyl in our prefix. We put our branches in alphabetical order, so ethyl comes before methyl. So we have 4 ethyl, 2 methyl as our prefix. Finally, the suffix is ane, as our compound is an alkane. Our compound is 4 ethyl, 2 methyl, hexane. Alkenes are hydrocarbons with one or more carbon carbon double bond. You name these in the same way as alkanes. The difference is the suffix will be ene rather than ane. Also, in cases where the double bond can go in more than one place, you need to state the position of the double bond. For example, with propene, the double bond can only go in one place, so you don't have to state its position. However, with butene, the double bond can be in position 1, and so this compound has the name but1-ene, or the double bond can go in position 2, in which case the name is but2-ene. Let's work through this example. The longest carbon chain is 4, so the stem is but. It has an ethyl group on position 2, which makes the prefix 2-ethyl. Now for the suffix, it has a double bond on carbon 1, so has the suffix 
one een. Note, you state the carbon with the lowest number, so in this case you say one een rather than two een. So we have two ethyl but one een. Compounds containing halogens, fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine, are treated in a similar way to branches. They form the prefix of the name, and like carbon chain branches, you must state the position. Let's look at this example here. The prefixes for halogens are fluoro, chloro, bromo and iodo. The longest carbon chain is four, so the stem is bute. It has a methyl branch and a bromine atom. The bromine is in position two and the methyl position three. So in alphabetical order, the bromo comes before the methyl. We have a prefix of 2-bromo-3-methyl. This compound is a halogenoalkane, an alkane with halogens, so the suffix is ane. Putting it all together gives 2-bromo-3-methyl-butane. Functional groups are the part of the molecule responsible for the reactions. There are various functional groups, and these affect the suffix of the name. Aldehydes have the suffix anal, carboxylic acids, anoic acid, ketones, anone, but you do need to state the position of the C double bond O group like you do with alkenes, and alcohols have the suffix anol. Once again, you need to state the position of the OH group in alcohols when there is more than one possibility. Let's try this compound. It has a three carbon chain, so the stem is prope. There are chlorine, bromine and iodine atoms on positions 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Note how the numbering starts from the carbon with chlorine rather than iodine. This is because chlorine comes before iodine alphabetically. We then order the prefixes alphabetically, so we have 2 bromo, 1 chloro, 3 iodo. Finally, the suffix. The compound is an alcohol, so it has the suffix an ol. However, there are two places the OH group could go, so we state it's on position 2 by giving it the suffix an to ol. Altogether, the compound is 2 bromo, 1 chloro, 3 iodo, propan 2 ol. Finally, we'll end with this complicated one. It has two carbon chains, so the stem is eth. Let's work through the groups. There are two chlorines on position 2 and one on position 1. Because there are three chlorines altogether, we say trichloro. And stating the positions of each, we say 1, 2, 2 trichloro. Note how the commas separate the digits. Then we have two bromines on position 1, so that becomes 1, 1 dibromo, and an iodine on position 2. Now we place these groups in alphabetical order. So we start with the bromines, then the chlorines, and finally the iodine. The compound is a halogenoalkane, an alkane with halogens, so the suffix is ane. 1,1-dibromo, 1,2,2-trichloro, 2-iodo-ethane.